Good morning, I'm Martin from Multipipe and today I'm going to show you some of the uh, great press cutting and, and beveling features of Multipipe's MLCP range of uh, pipe and fittings. So the pipe is available in a range of sizes starting from 12mm right up to 110mm size wise and the procedure for cutting and beveling is very similar across the range. So we're going to start off then here in this case with a 16mm piece of pipe and there's a range of cutters on the market from a simple bladed cutter right through to a more comprehensive wheel cutter for cutting larger size and larger diameter pipe work. Now it's important that we cut that pipe fair and square using your cutter. So simplicity then is cutting the pipe fair and square. A nice, neat 90 degree cut is what we're trying to achieve. And then once you've cut that pipe fair and square, we're into beveling. Some lads call it reaming or, or chamfering the inner pipe, but beveling is uh, chamfering a very small angle on the inner core to make it much easier then to slide that pipe onto the fitted. And again, folks, there's lots of different bevelers on the market. We'll go from a simplistic uh, three size beveler here to a very nice comprehensive multi-pipe uh, beveling tool that does multiple sizes. Now to make the bevel, we need to insert the pipe onto the beveling tool. We're gonna push it fully home and twist the pipe and the beveling tool together. And what we're doing now is shaving and chamfering a 45 degree angle onto that inner core and then slide that uh, beveling tool out of the pipe and you can see the swarf that's popped out there where you've made that nice 45 degree uh, chamfered angle. And then you're ready to pick up the fitting. Now the fittings that uh, Multipipe do, there's a range of fittings in both metal press and composite press. We also have a range of push fit type fittings where no tool is required. But in this case, we're gonna use a T-piece, a 16 mil T uh, press fit, a metal body press fitting. So every fitting in the range has very small viewing windows. You can see then that when you've inserted the pipe uh, into the fitting, you should be able to physically see the pipe in all three viewing windows. Then what we're gonna do next, we're gonna make a press. We're gonna physically press the pipe uh, onto the fitting. And to do this, we need a pressing tool. Now there's a range of press tools that are suitable for the multi-pipe range of fittings. And in this case, we're gonna use a REMS pressing tool. It's been loaded with a 16 mil pressing jaw. Um, and we're gonna open the jaw and pop that around the fitting itself. It's important that you locate the pressing jaw onto the fitting, that it's nicely sitting between the chamfered edges. And then we're just gonna pull the trigger and make the press. Once the tool is reseated on its chamfer, we can remove the pressing gun from the fitting. And then what you'll clearly see is some pressing marks that have appeared onto the fitting. This just confirms to the installer that the press has been successfully made. And that's how simple it is to work with multi-pipe, calibrating and cutting and then pressing the fitting.